Yo, in AP Stats class, Mr. Ng takes the lead, teaching us numbers, making math succeed, standard deviations, probabilities. Mr. Ng's lesson, man, he's quite the fix. Alright, so we just did long division. And maybe this box idea is more helpful for you. So, I know on my box it's going to be 2. So, x, sorry. Right here, can you see it? X minus 4. And the inside, the dividend, has to start with 2x to the third. Zoom in. So now it's like a multiplication table. I have to figure out what goes here to multiply. The answer is 2x squared. 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. I can multiply these two, so that'll be negative 8x squared. Okay. In the diagonal here, these two have to add up to negative 7x squared. Um, so this can be a positive 1x squared. Right, because that's negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. So then what goes up here, this would be an x. x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. I'm going to do the same thing. These two have to equal negative 18x. So negative 4x minus 15x. And then I just need to figure out this one, so that'll be negative 15. And negative 15 times negative 4 is 60. Okay? So, what does this mean? Write the dividend, so the dividend is what is in the inside, what we started with. So 2x to the third minus 7x squared minus 19x plus 60 is equal to, I think this will make sense, you have x minus 4 times 2x squared plus x minus 15. The divisor times the quotient. In this problem, we didn't have a remainder when I needed to add over here, so the remainder would be 0. So that's a different way of doing long division. We love math A, we love math A, we love math A. Every time we divide, we already know the path A. Then we multiply, all we gotta do is roll the die A.